Hola! We're starting a new painting series. Let's go to Mexico. Vamos a Mexico! There is so much inspiration all over the world that can help us decide what to paint. Yup, I'm gonna get on a plane and we're going to explore Mexico. Let's see what we can find to paint inspired by this beautiful country. I'm looking for four things to paint. It's going to be tough to narrow it down, but we can do this and you can totally paint what I'm going to share along with me. Let's unwrap this canvas and start. subscribed to my channel you've seen the first painting because I've shared it on my channel so make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you can see all of my new videos this first one is inspired by the plants in Mexico long before the Spanish arrived in Mexico the agave plant was considered sacred and held a significant role in the people's religion now the blue agave plant is used to make tequila I personally like the blue glow agave plant, which has the nice colors on the outside of the plant that are bright. You can totally paint this with me in five easy steps. Step one, paint the background a light color. It can be your favorite color. I'm gonna choose purple because that's what I like. Let that background dry. And then step number two is to trace the shape of the succulent onto your background. And I have a traceable that you can get some help with that. Then I just go over those lines with the main color of the succulent with a fine detail brush. Step number four is to paint in your succulent leaves. You're gonna separate your leaves by color. You're gonna use dark colors versus light colors and different colors to make each leaf unique and separated. The last step is the final details. I'm gonna add some colors on the outside of my leaves so that I can have a nice glow. You can totally paint this with me in five easy steps and at the end of this video I will put a link to the tutorial. Now let's explore the cities and towns in Mexico, walk down their streets and look around and see what the tourists and the locals alike like to visit. And I know what they like to visit because you know what I'm seeing a lot of? Churches. The churches in this country are gorgeous inside and outside. In Puerto Vallarta, there is the church called the Church of Our Lady Guadalupe or Iglesia de Nuestra Señora de Guadalupe and it had this beautiful crown at the top and I wanted to paint it. Step one, paint the background blue. Step two, add the ocean to the background. Let that background dry and then step three, sketch the composition using my traceable onto the painting. My traceables sure make it a lot easier. Step four, paint the church. And boy, does it look pretty with that background of the ocean. Step five is painting all these other buildings. We need to paint all the rooftops and give them all these beautiful flowers and stuff. Step six, let's paint this other church's spire. Finish it up and you're done. If you'd like to paint this along with me, put church in the comments and I'll send you the link to where you can find the full tutorial. Okay, so what am I going to paint next? This is fun. Let's see where I can find more inspiration. What do people do when they visit Mexico? They go to the fill in the blank. Let's play in the sand, the waves, and soak up some sun, but not too much sun. We may want to get an umbrella so we can have some shade. Because Mexico is filled with breathtaking shores, bringing vacationers from all over the world. Some beaches are filled with people and others are quiet and more secluded. 
depending on what you would like to do in Mexico, party, play, or relax. There's a beach waiting for you to enjoy. You can totally paint this with me. I'll share this tutorial next week, so be sure to subscribe. And when you do that, bell next to the button is to get notified when I share my videos. I can't wait to share this one with you. And once I've shared it, it too will be at the end of this video. What's next in my series? We're gonna celebrate with the Mexicans. We're gonna celebrate Day of the Dead or Dia de los Muertos. I'm in Mexico actually at the end of October, beginning of November, and that's when they celebrate this holiday and there are colorful skulls all over this place. I shared the steps on how to paint this in my favorite Halloween painting tutorials video. Add some pizzazz to our artwork. We can add different colors of markers. We could add different types of paints or paint pens, whatever we wanna do. We're gonna make it fun. Of course, you can put all these designs on your own face too, which makes a really cool Halloween costume. And I have a tutorial for that. So if you just put face in the comments, then I can send you that tutorial. Do you love the sugar skull drawing? Great, I have made it really easy for you by making this into a workshop. You can just type in sugar skull in the comments and then I can send you the link to that. Which one's your favorite? The agave plant, church, beach, or skull? Now that you've seen what I painted inspired by Mexico, what do you want to paint inspired by Mexico? Let me know in the comments.